here we have yet another problem because this is a good path. This is not connected to the water. This rim, see this rim over here that we're looking at, this this runs along the side of the boat. That's made of aluminum and that's that's a good conductor over there. But it's also not attached to anything. If it, if it were attached to something, see like here, it's not even attached to this, so it's not going to go to a ground plate. And I'm looking at this and thinking, well, this is kind of crazy. It's not attached to anything. This, so the fourth stay is in trouble. All right, so we have trouble in the fourth stay. What about the back stay? I'm looking at the back stay, and these, of course, I'm also looking at this, and I'm saying, well, they'll, this is this couldn't conduct electricity, but it's not it's not grounded. It doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so then that last thing is going to be back stays right here. This has got a couple of bolts in it. Is that attached? I could do something as simple as take this chain from the motor that pulls the motor. this chain around the back stay once and scratch the crap out of myself. And that would be sufficient to make a nice contact through the motor to the water. If that happens, it's going to destroy all the electronics in the motor and I guarantee you that's about five or six hundred dollars. But that will protect it. But uh, the boat if the lighting goes down the back stay, if the lighting doesn't go down the back stay, and then it's going to go down the shroud. It's going to go down those shrouds, because those shrouds over there, they're not connected to anything. They're just hanging in the air. A big old lightning rod, if anything comes down the shrouds, they're going to reach down and just fry everything inside here. This is, again, there's nothing there. I mean, it does go to the outside of the boat through these guys, but this doesn't. That's the center shroud. Actually, that we could call that a side stay. But this has nothing. This terminates right here. There's no protection on this. These do go to the outside. So if, if it does, it's not going to go through the hull unless it goes through the hull over here. But if there's a better path over here, then they'll go that way. So that's good protection over here, but uh, still, it'd be nice to have a path through the water instead of this. So we don't have a path through the water with this, and it looks like I didn't need to take all of that up. So I'll put all that back. Let's take a look inside the. Uh, you might be able to see back inside here. I don't think you can. Maybe you can. But I want to go back in there and have a look at that. Uh, I can crawl down inside the, this is the battery bay or the, uh, the uh, under section. Usually there's a fuel tank right there and I want to fix this engine. But let's crawl down inside there, all right? So I'm going to turn this off for a second. Crawl down inside and have a look. Okay, well, um, right now I'm inside the, uh, I'm inside the, what we call the battery bay, but this is, uh, this takes two batteries normally, and I'm sitting on top of the gas tank. So I'm not sitting on the gas can, but it's sitting next to it. Here's the battery. The battery is on a solar panel, so the solar panel keeps charging. And I've got everything. Of course, I'm huffing and puffing because I just crawled down inside here. And uh, you see, I'm I'm inside the battery bay, um, inside the, the belly of the boat. If you want, uh, this could be also considered the, the ass of the boat. But I'm looking at the uh, the backstay, the brace that holds the backstay, and I'm looking for any cables going to that. And as you can see right here, there is nothing, absolutely nothing, back here taking electricity, and uh, that will take electricity and send it to ground. It's everything that comes up. Here is going to go um, through the hall. 
and uh, into the water. There's no, there's no path for carp float. Yeah, it's just, there's blank. There's no cable here, nothing. And I'm just looking back here and thinking, wow, <laughs> this is not a good way to protect a boat from lightning. So what we're really lo looking for is a good, is a good path for current flow in the boat to get lightning off the. I mean, lightning's going to hit. I, I can't think of anywhere else it's going to hit. It's going to hit the mast. It's not going to hit anywhere else. It's not going to hit this side thing over here. It's going to hit the mast. So I've got an idea that I think can solve my problems in a temporary fashion. That I can save the electronics and keep the current on the outside of the boat. This is what you and uh, Thompson suggested was that as in buildings, you want to keep the current on the outside of the boat, which is the way they do in buildings. Like I said, it doesn't go through your desk, it goes on the outside. The lightning rod's on top of the building, and then the lightning cables go down the side into the ground. Now, here the ground is the water. This boat sits out here 24 7. So the lightning storm, there's a good chance it's going to hit, get hit. Far greater than in motor boats and perhaps not so higher and then in a house or something we're right in the middle of the water it's the only thing out here it's the most likely target five times greater and probably about uh, 100 or 300 times greater than a human getting hit by lightning so uh, we got to do something and i'm thinking okay let's ground the four stay in the back step. So I mean it kind of makes a little bit of sense. Let me uh, let me get out of here and uh, I think I can do this without too much difficulty. Okay one of the reasons I came out today is that it's a really good sailing day. So um, there's lots of wind here but I so I don't want to spend I do want to spend some time working on the lighting but I'd also like to do some sailing. So anyway the first problem we have to do is Chains in the chain bay. Look at this. I got chains right there in the chain bay. This is one of the leading source of problems. I mean, I don't say the leading source, but this is a big problem right here. I this all this chain is the source of trouble. A lot of chain here. What I'm thinking is I can get this stuff out of here. Where can I go with it? Where else? I can't leave it on the deck of the boat. All that chain is a big conductor and it's just a, a lightning attractor. So I don't want lightning all over my chains. All right? And going through my chain boat, if it goes through this chain and chain bay and the anchor bay and all this stuff is down there, it's going to sink my boat. So I want to get all these chains out of the chain bay. The anchor, the only thing that should be in there is rope. This plate right here, this huge plate, this huge aluminum plate, which <laughs> the four stay is attached to, and then let it come through this plate into the water from here. I might get a burn over here, but this is where I want the current to go. I want it to go into the water. And going through a chain is better than a four gauge cable. So let's try this and see what kind of rig I can come up with because I think I can do this. Okay, well, uh, I've kind of figured out a solution. I've kind of figured out a solution to the uh, to the four stay. The four stay, so because we've got this huge plate here. Which, uh, which mounts to the boat, right? This basically holds everything together. And the four stay, which is this guy right here, is the main conductor, is one of the main conductors of electricity that gets hit by lightning. So I thought, I thought I was gonna string this to the back of the boat, and I thought, you know, every once in a while I'm gonna wanna drop anchor, and I thought maybe the back of the boat would be an ideal place to put it. But I thought also, there's another way you can just uh, drop some of the chain into the water and let it hang down there. Hey, okay. it's sitting on this plate. There's not a lot of chain down there. It's what could catch on it, I suppose. 
you do have to secure the anchor and make sure these aren't going to move, like this one right here, it shouldn't go anywhere. Um, this one is uh, into the water a little bit, and uh, as you can see, it's not far. I mean, I can pull this, pull this up. It's got about a couple of feet down in the water, so it just kind of sits there, not much. But it's um, it's a good, basically a ground. It's a good ground. So. Uh, all right, the only other thing is, if you're going to do this, make sure your anchors are secured and not going to take off if something does come along and catch on that side. Okay, well, I have a partial solution, but I, I think I don't like it. It'll, it's, it's a good temporary because it uh, does provide something. And as long as the motor is up, this, I mean, it's up because as soon as I go to drop the motor, it's going to come back up, but um, this has some complications. One thing is the we're going to look at that is that it is in the water. However, I have to pull up on this part here and play with it, and it's in the water. See, I've got this is a chain that um, secures the motor to the boat and keeps it from getting stolen, but it's not a galvanized chain. So it doesn't like to be in the water, and it is oxidized, and it's rusting. It's only been here a few weeks, and it's already getting a lot of oxidation on it. Ideally, um, the other part of this is that this is the battery cable. <laughs> and if this becomes part of that circuit, it's going to fry my battery, and it's going to be inside the boat. Now, I don't want the electricity inside the boat, like I said before. I want a lightning bolt to stay on the outside of the boat. Now, if it hits this, it's going to go both directions. It's going to go, some it's going this way, and some it's going that way. All right, some of the current. We're talking about hundreds to millions, uh, thousands to millions of amps of current in just a, a few milliseconds or microseconds. Whatever it is, everything's going to get hot. Now, contrary to popular belief, current doesn't flow through a conductor. And many engineers will tell you this. Current flows on the outside of the conductor. So this is this is plenty of... Um, this provides lots of way to get to the, uh, to the water for that, but I need a more furnace of heat. I don't like this one because it also uses the motor. Although well, the motor isn't always in the water, but, uh, and if it is in the water, it kind of hovers, you know, in and out of the water. <laughs> As you can see here, it's coming in and out. Right? Dips in, dips out. But it's close enough that it, it, it can take a lot of juice and push it right down through. Thanks for watching my program. If you like my videos, be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for an organized listing of my YouTube videos, go to my website, www.wheremyplacebos.com, and click on videos. Have a great day.